Well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to make a formal request to his British counterpart David Cameron to crack down on gangster Daoud Ibrahim's operations on uh, British uh, soil. We understand uh, that uh, Modi is expected to raise the issue during his meeting with Cameron on security matters. Indian officials are believed to have discussed the issue with the Interpol uh, last uh, month. In fact, the ED had prepared a list of at least 17 properties of uh, Daoud Ibrahim that he owns in the United Kingdom. A copy of this list also has been shared with Scotland Yard a few weeks ago. Niranjan Narayan Swami is now joining me uh, from London. Uh, Niranjan, uh, we understand uh, that the Prime Minister is uh, likely to make a formal request to his uh, British counterpart David Cameron as far as uh, uh, the crackdown on uh, Daoud Ibrahim's operations on British soil is concerned, which of course includes his properties over there, also his uh, various uh, money laundering uh, that he's been doing from there. Yeah, two, two things that we've picked up uh, from our sources here in uh, London and uh, diplomatic sources is that uh, one, the issue of Sikh radicals will be picked up, will be raised. Secondly, the issue of Dawood could feature in the talks. Remember, Nupur, over the next uh, three days, the Prime Minister will have ample opportunities to meet and discuss several issues with David Cameron. Terror, we understand, is uh, one area of concern where the UK will want to walk, work very closely with India. As far as uh, the issue of Sikh radical groups are concerned, uh, even over the last couple of weeks, Sikh radical groups here, uh, maybe not radical groups, at least Sikh groups, some of them have been protesting over the Punjab unrest. Uh, that apart, we are picking up some details that uh, the Prime Minister is expected to ask David Cameron to rein in some of these activities of uh, Sikh radical groups. We have intel information that uh, the Babar Khalsa uh, was getting support from uh, UK. Remember, you have a huge uh, uh, Sikh community here in the UK and uh, that's one of the issues that he will want to raise with uh, David Cameron uh, today when he meets him for the first time. Uh, a, a recent Intel report uh, also stated and I'm quoting from uh, uh, what uh, reports have stated that terror outfit Babar Khalsa had even started an internet radio station called Babar Khalsa Radio and uh, this was being broadcast out of uh, UK is what uh, we were given to understand. At least that's what uh, uh, Intel sources have uh, told. Uh, but India is also expected uh, to ask UK to uh, sort of crack down on these uh, groups who have okay. backed the entire Khalistani movement in the past. That is one aspect uh, of what is expected to be raised by the Prime Minister. That's as far as Sikh radical groups are concerned. Secondly, on the issue of Dawood, uh, this is something that India has been working very closely with, and especially the Prime Minister who's been on uh, several visits. Uh, once uh, when he went to UAE, uh, Dawood was one of the issues that featured. Uh, it mm -hmm. was a big setback to Pakistan, remember. Uh, and we are given to understand that Dawood Ibrahim, and this is what even in, uh, Indian intelligence agencies believe, that Dawood has a few properties here in London. So the entire money trail sort of, uh, you know, gets into the picture and India will want to work very closely. Also, given that Chota Rajan is in our uh, hands right now, he's also talking about the entire Dawood network. So remember, this is a very interesting time. It comes at a time when uh, Chota Rajan is in Indian custody. It comes at a time where India has worked very closely with UAE and uh, a few other uh, countries as far as the entire uh, Dawood network is concerned. So this is part of India's okay. overall strategy to sort of track, uh, to call Honor Dawood, break his money trail, try and get as much support, international support as possible and hopefully get UK on board as well uh, to probing the Dawood money trail.